now let's talk about customizing templates and templates are found on our list menu we go to list and go down to templates and depending on the company type you have will determine just how many types of templates you may have so a template could be an invoice it could be the, pur the purchase order the credit memos your sales receipts whatever now I want to show you how to edit these and, and customize them for your business so let's look at an estimate so we'll look at an estimate and we'll edit it what I always recommend is duplicating the existing template so that if you do something funky to it you don't mess up the original so we go down to the template menu and we say duplicate we want to duplicate this estimate again that way if we change it or do something weird to it that we can't undo we have the original to go back to so now we can get the menu again by either right clicking and we get a menu here or we could come down to the bottom and get a menu here or we could come up here to edit and edit the temple template here so no, in QuickBooks there's more than one way to edit stuff so now when you get to customizing your template you can do different things with the template you can determine what you want on there how you want it to look you can add your logo you can change the colors it's really yours to play with and you can make it look like whatever you want to look like the good thing about it is you only have to do this one time so once you customize your template that's it you don't have to worry about doing it again you customize it set it up the way that you want and you save it if you wanted to add your logo you just select here use logo and select and you just select wherever your logo is saved okay. if you wanted to change the color scheme you can change it here using the black color scheme or if any of these colors match your logo you may want to use one of these color schemes you have that option you can change your fonts so if you wanted the font for the title which is where it says estimate to be different you could click here and change the fonts again you could change colors you can make it bold italicis bold and italics you know it's it's totally up to you and you can change all of this the company name address the labels the data the totals all of that now in this section you will determine what information actually shows up on your your template on your estimate so do you want the company the, the company's name and address but you can also add maybe the company's phone number and the company's email address and web address and fax number so you notice that every time I added something they showed up down here so you can add that information if you're not sure if that information is correct you can click here to update information just to make sure that it is so once it's correct you click OK now this is the layout part of your template but there are additional ways to modify your template you can click here to additional customization and on the customization this is where you can determine what fields will show up on your template so notice that you have a column that says screen and a column that says print the column that says screen means that it shows up in the data input screen so it may be something that you will input but it may not print so you will determine what things you want to show up on the screen what things you want to print just know if it doesn't show up on the screen it can't pre it can't be printed okay you can also change the title of it so if you want it to say something different as opposed to maybe you don't want it to say estimate you want it to say quote so you could change this to quote and you could say quote number um, you could change all of this this is all stuff that you can you can change here under columns the same thing it allows you to determine what columns will be first second third or what have what have you and you can select those things 
on your footer you have the option of having a customer message which could say you know thank you for your business or please send payment to or please sign this estimate if you approve it whatever you can add that you can add a signature you can add additional text so if you wanted to put something in the bottom that says something like our company is licensed and insured we are bonded or whatever you could type something that you would want to appear on every single estimate you could type that information here and this is your printer setup information Okay. now I want to show you one other a thing that you can do with your customization of your templates is clicking here on layout designer this is pretty cool because you have the option here to move stuff around so you can move things wherever you want them to be so for instance if let's scroll down to the bottom if you wanted to switch the phone number and the fax number you know you could do that say you wanted the fax number first instead of the phone number you can move stuff around like that of course we need to move the phone number over here move the fax number over here but just know that you have the capability of moving stuff around however you like and I just made it too big I want to undo that okay so I undid it and I moved that around so you can move those things around if you wanted to the, the project maybe I want that project information to be over here instead that are on the right I want it on the left so you can move those things around you see how that's overlapping so I need to move that up so that it's not so you have a lot of freedom to move things around the thing that you want to make sure that you keep in mind is that these are your margins so you can't go outside of those margins because if you do it won't print right and again you can do and add as you will click OK and it takes us back to this menu and we can click OK it'll take us back to this menu and so now that we've customized it the way that we want we can click here to manage templates and change the name of it so we can say well let's name this quote form okay takes us back to our list of templates and you notice that it's there it's an estimate but we call it a quote form so in your company you may have different templates for the same type of form just depending on what type of client that you're sending it to will determine which form you want so you may also have different types of invoices you may have packing slips that look you know like invoices progress billing you may have a progress invoice and again you have the capability of modifying and customizing your template the way that you want 